Do not use 100 words, or 10 numbers will do. We've probably all heard the phrase, lies, damn lies, and statistics. Well, hopefully we are all in agreement that you never, ever lie on your resume, period. However, numbers, and especially the right numbers, have an incredibly important role to play in getting key messages across on your resume and getting them across in a way that really catches the eye of the hiring manager. Using numbers to quantify your achievements, your skills, your attendance record, or your personal development can have incredible impact. And after all, impact is what you're aiming for, isn't it? Look at it this way. Numbers are just another language. It's not rocket science. All we're doing is using the same language to describe our achievements that employers use to evaluate staff performance. Just about every single one of us has our performance at work assessed using statistics or key performance indicators as they are known in the workplace. You know the kind of thing I'm talking about. How many deliveries a day did you make? What was your sales revenue? How many calls did you or your team make in a week? What was the percentage of positive responses to a customer service campaign? The list goes on and on. So, using the right numbers in your resume can be very, very powerful indeed. Just take these two statements from a retail job application and make up your own mind. The shop was very busy, and I served customers nonstop all day. Our store got less customer complaints than any other. Or, I served an average of 105 customers every day. Our store was consistently first in the customer satisfaction survey, averaging just 6.3 complaints each month against a company average of 11.9. Now put yourself in the position of the hiring manager. Which of these two sentences provides the best evidence to help you make an informed decision about the candidate's capability? It's the second one by miles, right? Using statistics in your resume shows an employer that you are not only the kind of worker who understands the importance of being measured, but you actually relish it. And employers just love that kind of attitude. Here are four more quick examples of just how you can use numbers to illustrate your value. To show the extent of your responsibilities, the warehouse was 160,000 square feet. My team managed 210 deliveries a day and handled 1.2 million products at any one time. To show the positive impact of your management style, during my time in the role, our team's performance improved from 6.3 errors per 1,000 transactions to 2.6, making us the fastest improving team in the business. To show the value of your innovative thinking, the new stationary ordering process that I designed saved over 120 hours work per month and saved the company $73,500. To show your commitment to your employer, over the past three and a half years of working at XYZ Incorporated, I've only taken two and a half days off work due to sickness. All of these statements have real impact, are really memorable, and will set you apart from your competition. And they may just be the difference between you being invited to that all-important interview or just being another run-of-the-mill candidate. What's not to like?